By watching the following, you agree to and understand that the idiot that created this video shall not be held responsible for any misidentification of mud crabs or stone crabs on your part. Furthermore, you agree to and understand that all of the information in this video was collected from online and therefore is just hearsay information. The creator of this video does not claim to be a crab shellfish identification expert in any way, shape, or form, and all of the responsibility for legal fees, getting out of jail, or anything else that may happen to you if you get caught using stone crabs for bait will be your responsibility. <laughs> hey, good morning fishing friends. JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. I'm ducking down here because the wind's blowing pretty hard. It is early in the morning, but you know I went fishing with Danny the other day and we were catching mud crabs, but you know Danny also caught a stone crab and I started looking online for like how to identify a mud crab compared to a stone crab. And Danny had said there wasn't much information out there, and I agree there's not. So I've decided to actually make a video where I try and catch some mud crabs and some stone crabs, kind of get them washed off well enough where we can actually maybe see some of the distinct differences, at least from some of the information that I found online. Now, I am no expert at catching bait crabs or identifying crabs but i would like to show you guys what's going on with the mud crab and the stone crab at least according to what some of these articles are saying on the internet so uh yeah well this is where we find these guys apparently now in my area i traveled a pretty long ways to go fish with danny the other day but in my area um yeah i'm not sure where there's a lot of oyster beds so we're just going to search around in uh some of these rocks and stuff here and uh, see if we can't find us some mud crabs and some stone crabs so yeah if we're going to go digging around for mud crabs we got to have gloves um, those things have killer pinchers on them, man. These are just cheap gloves from like Harbor Freight, but uh, they work. They're leather. They're my used to be my workout gloves back when I was staying fit before I started making YouTube videos. All right, guys. Well, I tell you what, we're gonna just kind of head down here towards the water's edge. Always be careful on these rocks, especially the ones that got a little bit of green on them. Some of these guys have got oysters on them, which is good. It'll help me grip a little bit better. I'm gonna get down here where the tide comes in and goes out, because I'm guessing that's where these crabs are gonna be at. And I should have brought my container with me. Dang it, JC, I don't know what you're thinking, boy. You had plenty of coffee this morning. Go get your containers, man. See all that green stuff down there? That could be very slippery and dangerous, so. Well, guys, this isn't going too good. Look at that, is that what they call a tube worm? Look at that guy. I've heard these. These are supposed to be good for sheep's head, I think. Must be what they call a tube worm. That thing is long, man. Ah, there's one right there. Gotcha, baby. I gotcha. He was trying to get away. Can't get away. Oh, there's two of them. You can't get away from me. All right, we're going to take a close look at those guys in a minute. Danny told me this. You had to turn the rocks over and look underneath them because the crabs will actually crawl up into little crevices. There's one right there. Hey, thumbs up or appreciate it. Remember that, guys. There's no way I can get that guy out there. He is really stuck in there good. I'm not gonna lie, guys. Catching your own bait can be hard, man. I've turned quite a few rocks already and only got two two crabs. There's one right there. Got us another little bitty guy. Ah, uh-oh, don't get away. Don't you get away, little guy. We're gonna put him in the bucket and take a look at him. I th I'm pretty sure that's a stone crab. I can tell by the coloration. Little crabs. Oh, there's a big one right there. That's a big one. That's what we needed right there. That's the guy we needed. We'll be able to see this guy really good once we get him in there. Oh, he's pinching me good too, man. He's a pinching me good. Oh yeah, there's another one. Got you, little guy. He ain't getting away from me, man. All right, guys. Hey, listen. So far, the crabbing's going pretty good, man. I've been out here like 10 minutes. I probably got 10 crabs in there. Um, I'd like to get like a bigger stone crab so we can really see a mud crab and a stone crab. I know I've caught a couple of mud crabs and i've caught some small stone crabs but i want to get something that's big enough that we can really see because all i have is a gopro i don't have like this really nice you know two thousand dollar camera that'll do the the macro or micro lens zooming in and all that so we really need to try and find a bigger stone crab so i'm going to keep flipping rocks and having fun man let's see what happens hey i don't understand it guys these are definitely stones there should be stone crabs and the stones but actually these are more like big boulder rocks and chunks of asphalt so maybe they should be called boulder crabs and asphalt crabs and uh, seawall crabs i don't know but we got to go find some stone crabs all right guys i have located another place in the general vicinity so we're going to take a look here it's not the place i wanted to go but i think i found somebody's like homeless 
shelter. Look at that over there. Friggin' clothes and sheets and all kinds of stuff up there. Ah, life is tough for some people, man. Appreciate where I am today. Come here, Mr. Stone Crabby. Where are you, Mr. Stone Crab? All right, let's play Where's Waldo. You want to? Ouch, I just hit my head. I'm definitely going to call this video. See what I go through for you guys? <laughs> fishing 25 hours and only catching two fish now i'm out here catching stone crabs and mud crabs so we can see what the difference is trying to slip around on the rocks sure i'm having fun though thanks for coming along these are decorative brick crabs that's what kind of crabs these are stone crab stone crabby Ugh. oh my god look at that one Whoa, baby. Big old friggin' monster crab. Come here, big guy. Ah! He's trying to get me. You got me good. Well, guys, he doesn't have a light brownish tan color. There's no stripes on his legs at all. And he's got little white tips. On the end of his claws and he is pinching me like crazy right now i'd say he's a mud crab i would according to what i've read i'd say he's a mud crab okay guys i found an article on florida sportsman here's an excerpt from that article to help us identify a mud crab from a stone crab i'll put a link in the description area below you can go check this article out for yourself here we go. One final note about gathering mud crabs. The Harris mud crab looks a lot like a juvenile stone crab. Young stone crabs that have not yet matured to a size of more than an inch may be colored dark purple or dark tan, which looks similar to the body of a mud crab. Because stone crabs are highly regulated in Florida and have strict requirements for claws, size, and seasons, possessing a handful of immature stone crabs, you mistook for mud crabs can be a very costly mistake. I just put very in there. <laughs> the easiest way to tell a mud crab from a stone crab is to check the crab's legs. I'm going to read that again. The easiest way to tell a mud crab from a stone crab is to check the crab's legs. A stone crab's legs have distinctive white bands no matter the age of the crab. A mud crab's legs do not have these bands. Also, a stone crab's carapace may have several white dots, whereas a mud crab will not have the dots. All right, let's jump in and take a look at these crabs. Go down here and get us some more water. Some of this filtered water by the rocks here. See if we can't get a little cleaner water to rinse these things off with. Whoa. Don't, that's a moving rock, JC. Don't fall, man. All right, we got us some water. Let's go rinse these bad boys off and see what we got, man. All right, I definitely see a stone crab, you guys. Take these up here. Maybe we can see them a little better. Apparently, these things can hurt pretty bad. All right, guys, so see those little white tips on the, the tip of that guy's claws? One of the articles that I read said if they have the the white tips they're probably mud crabs we take a closer look at that guy and there are no stripes on his legs at all and he's got the white tips on the end of his claw and he's trying to pinch me with his pincher right there on my finger little stinker now he does have some white some white on his shell he's got he's got some white on his shell but I don't see the stripes on his legs, okay? So, let's put that guy back in there. Yeah, that's the one right there. You can see it better in the water. But, you see those little stripes all over his legs? He's got little stripes. And he's also got the, the blacker tips on his claws. But his legs have got little stripes on them. I would definitely throw him back according to the articles that I've read because uh, he's got little stripes all over his legs. Let's get this big guy right here. He's got the, he's definitely got the white tip on his claw and they say the mud crabs have the light tips. He's got some, 
He's got some white markings on his back, but he doesn't have stripes on his legs. No stripes on his legs at all. That little guy right there has definitely got, he's got black tips on his claws and he's got stripes all over his legs. I'd throw him back. I wouldn't take a chance. Actually, let's do that now. See, make sure you do your own research here on identifying these crabs. Now, this guy, whoop. This guy right here actually looks like he might grow up to be a little blue crab or this guy is definitely different okay his his shell is shaped differently his uh, claws are shaped differently he's, he's shaped like a blue crab so I don't know if he's like some kind of little sand crab or if he's a juvenile blue crab but I would not keep him and use him uh, especially if blue crabs aren't in season you know what I'm saying <laughs> all right guys well make sure that you help me out and if you know anything about identifying stone crabs and mud crabs please leave your comments in the comment section below we did pretty good here guys um now that stone crab that me and danny caught you could definitely tell that it had a different coloration it was brown and tan see how dark these guys are these guys are really dark almost a black color they're so dark all right guys get out there do your research on the difference between mud crabs and stone crabs in florida and uh yeah you know what from what i hear crabs are great sheep's head bait so get out there and go fishing man life is fun you gotta live it see ya